Hello my awesome artists! This week I am very excited for our project. It is inspired by an artist, a book, and the whole month of February. Ooh. So the month of February is Black History Month and our artist this week is Black. So for the month of February I'm going to talk about Black artists that had made a really big impact in art history. Our artist this week is named Horace Pippins. He is an artist from a long time ago and he created what he saw. He painted things that he saw in his everyday life. They weren't spectacular things, they were normal things that he painted. I have a read aloud for you to read before you continue this project. So go back to the link to the assignment description, click on that link of the read aloud, watch it, come back here. Okay, so pause me and go do that. Good. Now that you have read that read aloud, I'm very happy because what did you think? What did you think about his artwork and his life? Was it interesting? Our project this week will be inspired by just that, us drawing or painting or creating. So we are going to make up a studio for ourselves. Do you know what a studio is? A studio, an art studio, is a place you create at. It could be um, a desk. It could be a room. Mine is in the basement of my house and it's a room dedicated to all of my art stuff. So we are going to be drawing a studio that we would love to have. It doesn't have to be real life. It could be uh, your wish list of what you would wish a studio would be. So here is mine. We are only going to get as far as a pencil drawing this week, but we have um, our easel which I'm going to walk you through how to draw your easel in your person. And I'm going to walk you through how to draw some things like the table and the bookshelf. But really, it's up to you on how you decorate it and the things you put in it. You will also, um, I left mine blank because I want to see your ideas. You will be putting something in your easel. What do you want little you to create? You could add a window. What would you like to be out of the window? Um, do you want posters on the wall? There's a lot of options. There are some people who have made these before, some kids, and I want to show you their projects so maybe you can get some ideas from. This is a two-week project, so we won't finish it all this week. We will do just the pencil drawing, make, make sure we have all of the details we want, and next week we will go in with whatever supplies you have to color it in. This is your chance to make up your dream studio. All right, let's get started. We have our paper in it. It was sideways, horizontal, side to side. We're going to start off with our horizon line, so that line across the bottom. Our easel, which is a rectangle inside of a rectangle. And then two skinny rectangles as the legs. Remember, this is sped up, so pause it whenever you need to. Um, you could go backwards, go forwards, whatever you need to to get you through the project. So the chair, the chair's up to you. I did a more complicated one and it has um, slots in the back. You could make yours a computer chair and it's just a rounded shape. Um, it's up to you on the chair you want. So for your person, for you, it's quite easy. So you're gonna start with this circle and you're gonna add your neck and shoulders. I did add a little hand coming up to the easel. So if you have, um, oh, and then I added the legs, decided I didn't like that leg there, and so I just want legs coming out of the bottom, which are just two skinny rectangles with shoes. Try to make them as even as possible. There they are. And so for the hair, if you have short hair, you could just add a little bit of texture on that circle. If you have long hair, you add your long hair and you erase your head circle. Pretty easy for drawing a person. So after this, it is up to you. You can decide what you want on your easel, on the background. Um, here are those examples again. Remember, you can pause it if you see one you really like. There's an aquarium in some. There is a cat in another. So there's some things that you can add that makes it your space. So I did draw a table, a bookcase, and a window. You could draw those if you'd like. I also drew a little like cork board that I could put um, inspirational uh, art on, a calendar. 
books on my bookshelf, baskets full of art supplies. What do you want in your studio? So you can keep going, keep adding. I did add a light and some paint and a palette on my table. I hope you had fun with the pencil drawing of your creation of you in your studio. I hope you had fun making it because I know I'll have fun seeing them. So make sure you take a photo and send it to me in Google Classroom so I can count it. Also, remember, you could have the chance to be in the gallery. So make sure your photos are straight, your fingers are out of the way, and it's well lit in the room so I can see the whole picture. Bye!